Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitali, and on this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, we are making the most delicious lemon blueberry muffin you've ever had. If you have been with me for a while, you know, A, I'm the lemon queen. I love anything lemon, anything citrus. I dress for the occasion, <laughs> if you couldn't tell. Um, and a few years ago, like we're talking like 2019, I think, I made a recipe called that I titled the best blueberry muffins ever. So if you love that recipe as much as I do, this recipe is not that different, but there are some tweaks and there are some updates that do make these the best lemon blueberry muffins ever. So let's get started. I have got the oven preheating to 375. I've got two muffin tins ready and lined. This is gonna make about 18 muffins. So I've got two pans ready to go. So let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to combine my dry mixture. So in here, what do I have? I've got all-purpose flour, baking soda, baking powder, and salt. What am I gonna add to this? I'm gonna add my little secret ingredient, which is two tablespoons of instant lemon pudding. Now, if you can't find this, omit it. Just leave it out. But what I really like about this, and if you've been with me for a really long time, then you know I made my lemon, um, like lemon loaf, and I, I added some of this to it. What this does is A, it intensifies the, the sort of color, makes it a rich yellow color, but B, it intensifies that lemon flavor. It just kind of makes it, I don't even know how to describe it, but it just, it makes a difference and I like adding it because I do think that it makes that lemon flavor really pop. So just mix your dry ingredients together. Now what I do is I take some of this and the OGs know, and you're gonna add it to your fresh blueberries. Now, last week I posted a Reels um, and a TikTok um, of some lemon blueberry muffins that I made using some cake mix that I had in the pantry. And I had so many DMs saying, can you show us how to make that recipe, you, but like from scratch, instead of using a box mix, box mix for those of us that can't find it. Your wish is my command, okay? And these really are just exceptional and you will love them. In this large bowl, I'm gonna take the zest of an entire lemon and add it to the sugar. Now, what I've been doing lately, anytime I make desserts that call for lemon zest and sugar, obviously, I add the zest to the sugar first and then I work it together with my fingers and really work that lemon zest into the sugar and it really helps release the like it oils into the lemon zest and it makes it so much more perfumey and fragrant and just much more pronounced and I really love that. I never did that before but uh, TikTok influenced me and now there's no going back. So just come in here with your sugar and lemon and just really break that up and you will smell like something just magical happens almost instantly. You just gotta trust this process and you just wanna do this for like maybe two minutes. Doesn't take that long, but the difference is outstanding. Now my original recipe for these blueberry muffins calls for buttermilk, but because I wanna use lots of lemon juice, I'm just gonna add lemon juice to whole milk. You could use 2%, works just fine. And then let that sit. That's essentially gonna sour your milk it makes a really tender sponge, but also gives you some of that tangy flavor from the lemon that I want in this instance. So I'm just gonna let this sit aside. It's gonna curdle, it's gonna do great things. To this bowl with our lemon sugar, I'm going to add two eggs and then using a handheld electric whisk, I'm going to whisk this together for a couple of minutes. I want it to be really sort of frothy and thick and combined. Before I forget, I'm adding some vanilla bean paste. You could just use vanilla extract. I'm just gonna add this right in. Now I'm adding some neutral oil. You can use extra light olive oil, avocado oil, vegetable oil, any oil that's really light and has no flavor. Adding that right in, incorporating it. Add in your dry ingredients in your curdled milk situation and then just mix until it's just combined. That looks great. And now you're gonna go ahead and take your blueberries and all of that dry mixture and you're gonna blend, well not blend, you're gonna fold them in. Please don't blend them. Please don't blend your blueberries in and then just fold them in. Now we're gonna make a little bit of a streusel topping situation. And in this bowl, I've got cold butter, I've got flour and sugar, and I'm just gonna use a pastry cutter to cut the butter into those dry ingredients until it's pretty tiny, sort of like the size of peas. 
and just just take your time there's no hurry and now you just fill up your muffin liners with that batter look at all those vanilla beans just speckled right through you know it's going to be good Top each one with some of that little crumb topping and then they're pretty much ready to go into the oven let me just get them all finished up so I can show you what they look like all right these are just gonna go into the oven they will take about uh, 20 some minutes and then you want to let them cool and I'll show you what they look like when they are done Look at how beautiful. These muffins definitely have that like bakery look to them. I'm not gonna lie, because you and I are friends and I'm always honest with you. I left them in just a few minutes too long, but in my defense, I have three ovens, okay? How is it possible that all three of them have a mind of their own? I don't know if this has ever happened to you, but like I have baked in my ovens for years. All of a sudden, this one today decided that it was gonna run hotter than ever when this is the oven that usually runs cold. So, set my oven to 375, but I just feel like it, I know because I have a temperature thingy in there and it just ran a little bit hotter, but it's okay. But they're beautiful. Look at that golden color, the tender crumb, but yeah, it's got that crispy lid. I forgive it. I don't know what it is about me and textures because balance of flavor is so important. But I don't always love soft foods. I think sometimes foods, what makes something really good is not only a balance of texture, a flavor, but also a balance of textures. And that little crisp topping is just heaven. Absolutely heavenly. I'm gonna bring it upstairs. Mia already dove into two. Let's just be quite frank. Um, but they're delicious. They're super easy. Just be weary of your oven. It's always nice to put one of those little thermometers in there at all times because that way you'll know for sure what your temperature is because the oven temperature sometimes means nothing at all. Trust me. Lara in the kitchen.com <clears throat> for the written recipe. Hope you enjoyed spending time with me and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.